Hello and welcome everyone to another North Basics video on this channel. Today it's gonna be all about the scouting in Northgard and you can quite imagine how important uh, scouting in Northgard is since it's one of the first buildings you will build in Northgard on your starting tile and yeah you will reach out and start scouting out everything and I'm just gonna try to explain what my thoughts are when I start my scouting and what I want to reach in a different place I do or different strats that I do. So just right now, usually you will always start with your scouting camp and house, of course. Just gonna start building it. And usually you will, you will look for a forest around your starting tile. And you can usually see it a little bit by uh, higher trees in the shadows. Uh, there must be one really big tree in a forest always, like in the middle of the uh, tile. You can sometimes see it and so already say, hey, there is a forest. Um, or you can see the mushrooms on the floor see mushrooms there and then you can go for that um, but you gotta watch out since on fish tiles I think um, so on the lake tiles there are mushrooms too so that can sometimes trick you I don't know if they're still there but there were definitely mushrooms on lake tiles and they sometimes trick me in thinking it were a forest but I'm not uh, taking the forest always as too important I usually always build my uh, wood camp either way just in a starting tile so uh, I get my time to my training camp quite short so uh, if you start building it quite early you will get your er training camp quite early you can start uh, cleaning everything out but sometimes you will get in food problems like this so uh, it's not always the best uh, play to say with uh, every clan sometimes it's just better to chill a little bit so you really gotta watch out how your food is going how your food expectations are so if you do you have a farm and yeah that's basically it so the different goals when you want to scout uh, I'm just gonna topic about that now uh, if you want to go a rush play you definitely want to find one of your stones and your iron so this is basically your golden um, so you watch out for <laughs> so basically uh, I would scout around your base of course and around your uh, tiles I would say but not too much if it's not too necessary I would say so if I would take this tile here I would actually be curious what is on this tiles of course but it would it take too much time to take this tiles I would actually just leave them behind and not look for it uh, what I go for when I look for my iron you sometimes will uh, yeah notice that I uh, quite know where my iron is uh, even though I can't see it right now. Uh, you can sometimes just watch around and if you see draggers or bears on tiles uh, you can just ignore them and not scout them since your iron shouldn't spawn on a tile with draggers and um, bears on it. So sometimes I see here uh, it's a dragger tile. This by way forest. You can already see that. Um, so sometimes yeah here you see a bear running around and you already know okay there's no there's no dragger. Uh, there's no iron for me, so you can just ignore that tile and go for another tile. See right here? I would just now think my iron is over here. Uh, or in one of these tiles. Since I can't see any draggers here, there are wolves. This is a wolf's cave actually, so I wouldn't uh, think that there is my iron. I would think my iron is in this tile or in this tile, and then it will most likely be. Sometimes it's uh, not, sometimes it's just RNG based, and sometimes uh, it can just work otherwise. But in most of the cases, you will find your iron like this. Um, in a macro play, I would be a little bit better with my scouting. You want, of course, to find both of your stones since you need them. So find both of your stones. Your iron would be good, but it's not all too necessary like in a rush. Like uh, iron is of course necessary in the later stages of the game. But sometimes I will first upgrade my scout camp uh, before I do that. But usually I will uh, look for finding the iron in the first scouting, uh, first scouting time too. I usually take two scouts by the way. Uh, until my first scouting phase is... Uh, at the end I would say sometimes I drag one back later on but usually I start with two ones of course and we're like <laughs> a bad start uh, usually I take two so uh, you should take two at the start usually two since you want to find a lot of tiles in the start and two scouts really help with that since you can double them up I didn't set that <laughs> until now you can of course double up your scouts and they will just double up your time you will not lose any time of it and my iron is right here so 
I would have found everything for my macro game right now. So I have both of my stones, I have my iron. So I can go for my stones first, uh, take it and then go for my iron to upgrade some tools or get out my war chief, everything what I would need. Um, there is something that some players go for that is uh, the middle of the map. You might have noticed that. Um, if you are a stack clan, raven clan or just a clan that really um, has a strong feign, uh, yeah, effect. Uh, then you sometimes want to go for the middle. So rush the middle and try to get the 50 fame uh, for rushing it. Uh, I'm not really the player to go for this, even though when I'm stack clan or raven clan, since I feel myself, oh yeah, this is, you see? <laughs> Iron on both tiles. Uh, I don't really go for that since I think it's again an RNG rush and I'm not uh, an RNG thing and I'm not really all too much an RNG player uh, since I really like stable plays to be honest even though it not really looks like it since I really started with rushing out but um, I like stable plays and I don't like too much to go for the middle and have the chance you see right here the middle is there uh, I could reach it quite fast I could have reached it quite fast and uh, one two three tiles I would uh, would have been there and you usually can see the middle because there are a few Valkyrs on it or uh, yeah you will just see this is uh, the Sword of Odin win but you can Whoop. isn't it I think it's the Sword of Odin win but I'm not sure um, since it looks like it but not too bad uh, just going for that middle there for the 50 fame but uh, usually I wouldn't really go for it since you have both of your scouts all the time scouting and sometimes your scouts will be at around 90% and your enemy will get the tile there. And so that were the worst case that could happen for you since your scouts were all the time out. They didn't did, uh, do anything for your eco and they were just scouting all the time. The, <laughs> the tiles that you may not really want to find out about. Um, since I really like to take my scouts back home and help in my eco and later on scout everything out when I upgraded my scout camp. I saw a lot of tactics where eh, it's actually gates of hell time. Yeah, I knew that I were wrong there. <laughs> okay, these stones are usually gates of hell time. I did a little mistake there. So uh, yeah, pardon me. Um, so I was saying that I usually like my scouts uh, back at home when I found all my stuff since uh, I really like them to push up my eco. I saw a lot of stuff that players in team games, mostly I think I saw it, I saw the one on ones too, that they really aggressive scout forward to uh, find the iron of your enemy before your uh, enemy is able to take the iron tiles. So you can already see your enemy without upgrading your scout uh, camp. I don't really go for this since, um, yeah, I really like to push up my eco like I said before and I don't really like to go for the middle so hard since the scouts can uh, get food, get wood, uh, get anything else in the time. So I don't really like to let them go past the middle and uh, any backer tile too. But I think you could go for that, that shouldn't be too bad. Um, I saw that the players not totally died out afterwards of course. They just missed a little bit eco in the start. but. I gotta say that they definitely were a little bit behind an eco usually since um, it's quite hard but I can't can't really generalize it since I think Amazing Liney is sometimes going for this too and you can't definitely say that uh, he wouldn't be that much behind an eco than me but uh, it seems to be a good idea. Mm. I'm just not really the player who uses it, so uh, you, you can definitely go for it, I guess. But my my way would actually be, because I'm the guy who says, uh, yeah, full efficiency, full efficiency. I would say, okay, upgrade the scout camp, get to 50% scouting, uh, speed increase, and then go out uh, with that scout, since they will scout the areas a little faster, and that will add up over a lot of tiles. And yeah, all this added up time can just be used for food economy, wood economy, everything that will, you will need right then. Um, yeah, scouting out the enemies. When is the right time for it? I would actually say earlier than, than I would think, actually. <laughs> Since I sometimes go a little bit late for my scouting camp, I think it's... Um, Hard to say when the right moment is to upgrade your scout camp and reach out with your scouts. I would sometimes really say that it's really about upgrading your town hall, 
upgrading your wood camp, upgrading uh, your fertile land. Uh, yeah, your fertile land, your fields or your silo, whatever you uh, is the best option for you in that second. Usually it will be the farm, of course. But um, yeah, upgrade one of the food buildings, basically. Maybe upgrade your brewery. I'm just imagining there's the brewery right here, <laughs> since it should be a four tile. It's just a two tile. I thought that were a four tile. Let's see. So hard you can missing. I actually thought that were a four tile, uh, but not too bad. Um, so upgrade your brewery there. So your basic buildings. I say it again, town hall, woodland camp, food building and brewery. And maybe afterwards just go right for the scout camp. Since it, it can never be bad to know what the enemy is doing, you know. And in a team game, you should actually be able to get two, maybe even three villagers out. Just to maybe in a 3v3 scout out all the enemies. That's one thing I didn't mention too. In team games, you can actually decide that uh, one of your players goes for the scout camp. And the other ones just whip them away, right away. Since uh, I I wouldn't say it's necessary that more players have the scout camp in there. Uh, one player with three scouts can scout out the whole map in a reasonable time. So I wouldn't say it's worth to for a 3v3 game to have two players upgrading the scout camp. Since of course there will be strategies that prove me that I'm wrong. There will be strategies where uh, players may go so aggressive that they want uh, to find out about their enemies so fast that two players will even upgrade the scout camp because it's not too expensive to upgrade and finding out about the enemies is sometimes way more worth than yeah some players think I would say but I think most of the players are quite quite aware of that how important scouting is since it is a lot in a lot of other um, RTSs and in other RTSs scouting were always right right here so I hope that I covered everything that I know, uh, shared everything that I know right here. Ah, yeah, I missed one little thing here. Uh, you can see the main tile of your... Here, you see it? Right here, this is the main tile of your enemy. That's what I wanted to share. You see those, these two flags? I got these two flags right here. These are the flags. <laughs> uh, they stand other. Uh, the other way around, but you can believe me, those are these flags. So you can see it through the fog. Uh, some players don't know that and don't really, uh, yeah, play about it. So you can actually see it sometimes really early. So I'm in the lucky position here that I'm on the lower edge of the map. So not really low edge of the map, we're on the same level. That's why I can see him quite good. Sometimes you will be in the upper part of the map and you can't really see right here because your scouting will just block your camera and you can't go that low and see what's going on here but if you could you can maybe see I see goblins right here uh, so you can see a lot just through the fog uh, with the right um, angle I would say uh, if you're on the lower part of the map you will have it quite easy to find your enemy you just need to scout out some tiles uh, close to it so your uh, camera radius gets a little bit bigger and you can see it right then but that actually, fi I think, that were everything that I know about scouting. Yeah, I'm quite sure about it. I saw the Jotna right here before, but I'm quite sure you did too. Those mans are really easy to say on the map, uh, see on the map, since their shadows are so freaking big. So it's not quite hard to find the Jotna on the map. It's way harder to find those little guys here, if you search them. Since sometimes you will really look for those neutrals, um, because you want to start a trade with them. So... Uh, yeah, never forget about that too. <laughs> so, with that words, I'm actually going to close out the video. Uh, I hope you I covered everything again uh, that I know about scouting. If I missed something, please write it down in the comments and I will try to answer it if I got an answer for it. And yeah, have a nice day everyone and see you back on the next time. <laughs> Ciao!